dude, this looks exactly like the pop it. Or you can pop it like a pimple. Check this out. Oh, whoa. By far the best one that I tried in today's video. What's up, guys? Welcome back to a new video. Today, we're going to be trying pop it food hacks. So, I previously did a part one, and you guys absolutely loved it. So, you guys know that I had to film a part two for you guys. So, in this video, we're going to test out these food hacks, and I'm going to be trying them and rating them from a one to 10, letting you know how good they are. If you guys do want a part three, let's get this video to 20,000 likes. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so we can keep on growing. And also, don't forget to hit that little bell so you can get notified every single time that I post a new video. You guys already know that all those three things help out your girl a lot. And without any further ado, let's go ahead and let's get started. For our first poppin' recipe, we're going to be making a white chocolate M&M poppin'. So all you're gonna need is white chocolate, some M&Ms, and of course some Pam spray and your poppin'. By the way, some of these recipes, I made them up on my own, and others, I found them on TikTok. But if you guys have any recipe ideas, please let me know in the comments down below so we can try it out in a future video. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our Pam spray, and we are going to coat our poppin' mold. Just like that, we're gonna take our white chocolate and we're going to melt it. Now we're gonna take it over to the microwave and we're gonna pop it in here for about 45 seconds. While the chocolate is melting, we're going to put our M&Ms in the pop it. And I'm gonna try to color coordinate everything. So we're gonna put the red ones here and then let's take some orange ones. Dude, that's gonna look pretty cool. You should do a blue line at the yeah, end. Yeah, I think that's the last one we're gonna do. We're gonna do blue at the very end. There we go. Now let's check on our chocolate and see if it's ready. Look how good is this is chocolate looks. Once everything is melted, we're gonna take it over to the pop and mold and we are just going to pour it on top and we're going to spread it evenly. So once you smooth out your chocolate, you're going to want to let it cool down for around 10 to 15 minutes until the chocolate gets completely hardened. So I'll check back with you guys in 15 minutes. One eternity later. Oh my god, guys. This chocolate has been taking forever to set. I was literally checking every five minutes, so I think it's finally ready. Now we're going to de mold it whenever I demold these it is the scariest thing ever because I'm like what if I like break it in half and it doesn't come out completely so we're going to cross our fingers and hopefully it comes out in one piece you got it oh <gasps> yes Don't it's break ready it. <laughs> let's flip it over maybe that'll be easier Ooh, you, you can it. see the color so good Dude, this looks so good look at that and like I said you can see all of the colors and you can still see the shape of the unicorn and of course the horn is like perfect so now I get to take a bite and try it dude that has to be good mm. can I have a piece mm-hmm take a piece I'll take the blue piece so good <laughs> Mmm. Right? It's like nice and crunchy. And then the white chocolate adds like a good flavor. This guys is so good. I would rate this a 9 out of 10. You have to try it out. Okay, okay. Tell them what we're gonna do next. Y'all are not ready. We are making a poppet grilled cheese. Ooh, dude. I'm excited for this. So one. am I. I had never heard of anything like this. So I was like, we gotta give this one a try. So we're gonna take some white bread. Or you can use whatever bread you want. We're gonna take one slice of bread and we're gonna take our poppet. I'm using the mini minion. Not why do I always compare this to a minion? It's an Among Us. Among Us. We're gonna take the mini Among Us. So basically, you're going to push it all the way down so you can get the shape of the poppet mold now we're going to try to take it out and hopefully it looks like an among us yes Ooh. it does look like it right it looks kind of sus to be honest <laughs> honestly it does it does look kind of suspicious but you can easily just take like a butter knife and you can cut out the edges like this to get like the perfect shape but I'll definitely let you do the other one because I was like struggling so we're gonna let cameraman do the other side of the grilled cheese and we'll be back. Look at Yay! mine. Mine came out perfect. Yay! And then look at Lupita's. Bruh. <laughs> Okay, it's pretty much the same no, thing. No, it's not. Mine is so low. It's dope. Yay. And then yours is just there. Expectations Anyways. versus reality. Anyways, <laughs> we're going to move over to the stove. You're going to take your Among Us characters, and you're going to take a little bit of butter. It's not even on. Oh, it's on? Yeah, it's on. Oh. Yes, I'm already prepared. Now you're going to take it and flip it. And you want to do this so it can get like nice, golden, and crispy. We're going to take some mozzarella cheese or whatever cheese you want. Dude, like that looks that. so good. I'm excited. Mm -hmm. And we're going to add a little bit more 
on this side. Okay, guys, let's flip it over. Oh! <gasps> wait, did I put it backwards? Yeah, wait, what? Did I put it backwards? No, the it's same there. Thing? Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I think you should flip it over. Yeah, I think we should just go for it. <gasps> <gasps> Dude, that is so hot. I grabbed a piece of cheese. Look how cute oh. the little Among Us looks. Now we're gonna try to get a cheese bowl, so let's see if we can do it. Mm. Wow, this is so freaking good. I would rate this a 10 out of 10. You can never go wrong with a grilled cheese. Y'all know that I love boba, so for this recipe, we're going to be making a hot brew coffee with a boba poppet. So all you're gonna need is some hot brew. I have been obsessed with this coffee. You're also going to need, obviously, some boba, some unflavored gelatin, and your poppet mode, and of course, ham spray. So first things first is we're going to put our boba to boil. So I already have some boiling water over here. And by the way, this is my favorite boba. It already comes sweetened, so it is so good. We're gonna pour the boba in the water. Next, we're gonna take our hot brew coffee or whatever coffee you want. We're going to pour it in the pot. Now we're gonna take our unflavored gelatin and I'm using this so it can set faster and it can be kind of like a jello consistency. So I'm gonna do about four to five packs of unflavored gelatin. Once you added all of your unflavored gelatin, you're gonna take a whisk and you're gonna start whisking everything. Okay guys, everything is ready. So for the coffee, I just let it boil until the unflavored gelatin dissolves. Then I put it in a measuring cup just so I can pour it easier to the pop and mold. For my boba, again, I just let it boil and once it floated, I try Transfer it to cold water and here it is. Now I'm going to make my boba a little bit sweeter so I'm going to be adding some honey. So let's pour some honey in there. Bam, just like that. I'm gonna take my spoon. We're gonna mix it. Now the next step is we're gonna take one boba and you're gonna put one boba in each hole. I have a feeling this is going to be my favorite one. Just because like I love a boba. Like I could drink a boba every single day, but I don't because I know it's not the healthiest. But on the weekends, I do treat myself to a strawberry banana smoothie with extra boba. Last but not least, we're gonna take our coffee mixture and we're going to pour it into the mold. Make sure you do it slow and add all the mixture. And remember, you wanna make sure you cover it all the way to the top to the point where the lines are not visible because if you just leave it basically like this, whenever you demold it, it's just gonna fall apart. There we go, it is all done. Now we're gonna take it to the freezer and we're gonna leave it in there for about 40 minutes or until it sets. It's been 30 minutes and I think the coffee boba jello is ready. Let's. Take it out of the plate. Perfect. Dude, it's like jello. It is. That's why I added the unflavored gelatin so it can set faster. Oh snap. It's gonna break. Oh no, 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 don't say that. Maybe I should set it down. Yeah. Oh, dude, this looks exactly like the pop it. I'm gonna take a bite. I'm gonna That's try the to real test. Take this piece. Let's try it. <laughs> Mm -mm. The boba it? is good, okay. but I think we added too much of flavored gelatin and it doesn't even taste like coffee anymore. Right? It's just bland and then you get like the hint of no, the boba. I taste the coffee, but it's not that strong. Right? I like it. I feel like I need that coffee flavor because you guys know that I love coffee. I drink it every single morning. I would rate this a 4 out of 10. I would have to rate it a 7 out of 10. Yeah, okay. Pretty so good to me. So pretty much if you like coffee, but not like a strong taste, I definitely give it a try. But if you love your coffee strong then I would say pass on this one but overall it is pretty good so this next recipe I found it on TikTok, and the person that made the recipe said that this it tastes like the Spongebob ice cream so you already know that I had to give it a try so all you're gonna need is some Starbucks mini you're also going to need some Skittles and your pop it mold once we have our starboards in our bowl, next we're gonna move on to the mold. So you're gonna take out your Skittles and you're gonna put one Skittle in each hole. And I'm gonna try to color coordinate everything to make it look like nice and satisfying. So I'm gonna start off with the red one first and then I'm going to go on with the orange ones, the green ones, the yellow ones, and so on and so forth. So once you're done putting all your Skittles in the pop-up mold, you're gonna take your mini starboards and we're gonna put these in the oven for, not the oven, <laughs> the microwave for 30 seconds. Okay guys, so for this recipe, this is not going to be kind of like a runny consistency. This is gonna be kind of more of a thicker, kind of like Play-Doh consistency. Yeah, kind of like Play-Doh or slime. So you're gonna want to smooth it out, kind of spread it like this. 
to the shape of your pop and mold. I'm going to put it on top and kind of just start molding it and pressing down so it can really set. Once you're done pressing everything down, it should look something like this. Now I know for a fact that this one is gonna take a little bit longer to set, so I am going to pop it in the freezer, leave it in there for a while, and we're gonna move on to the next recipe and then we'll come back and check on it. For this last recipe, we're making some bursting boba jello. So all you're going to need is some unflavored gelatin, as well as some bursting boba. This is passion fruit flavor. You're also going to need some jello, whatever flavor you want, and of course, your pop and mold. So I already have one cup of water here boiling, and I'm going to take my jello and pour it in the water. There we go. Now I'm going to take my whisk, and I'm going to mix it all together. And over here, I already have a cup of cold water and I added four packs of unflavored gelatin. So I'm gonna take the unflavored gelatin and mix it all together, just whisk it. And while all of that is mixing and boiling one more time, we're gonna move over to our pop it mode and we're going to take our bursting boba. So I'm gonna put one bursting boba in each hole like this. There we go, that is our last bursting boba. And I'm also going to put this on top of a plate just so it can be easier to transfer into the freezer. And I'm going to take my gelatin and I'm going to very carefully pour it. Don't burn yourself. In the mold. I know, I have to be really careful. All right, that should be good enough. So we're gonna put it in the freezer and we're going to take out our mini Starburst one because this one already should be ready. Now let's try this one. Ooh. Ooh, look at that. And you can still play around with it. So like move it around like this, nice and flexible. So I'm gonna take a piece and try it. Wow, 10 out of 10, you have to try this. Dude, I'm excited. I know you're gonna love it. Mmm. Right? It's good. Mm -hmm. It definitely does taste like the SpongeBob ice cream. So if you love that ice cream and you love the pink and to the right Starburst, I definitely make this at home. Okay, guys, so it's been 30 minutes and our popping boba jello is ready. So we're gonna take it out of the pop it mold. I think this one's gonna be really good. I think this one's gonna be better than the coffee boba one. Yeah, especially because it's bursting boba. Mm-hmm. That one's even better. Oh, yes. Did it break? Oh, it's breaking. Okay, hopefully it comes out in one whole piece. No, oh. it's already breaking, no. Guys, this is such a fail. The bursting boba is popping everywhere and it's just coming out in pieces. So this one was a fail, but I'm still gonna try it because it looks really good. So let's give it a try. Whoa, by far the best one that I tried in today's video. Try it, it's like you bite the jello and then it like bursts in your mouth. It's like nice and refreshing. Mm. Yes, what do you rate one. it? 10 out of 10, 20, 20 out of 10. Right, it's the so best good. One, it's so good. Mm -hmm. If you guys want to try any recipe out of today's video, trust me, try this one. It is so worth it. Guys, check this out. You can actually pop it like you would do with the pop it, like this. Ooh, or you can pop it like a pimple. Check this out. Oh, oh, it's so satisfying. Dude, that is satisfying. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Let me know in the comments down below what was your favorite pop up recipe that I tried in today's video. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that little bell so you can get notified every single time that I post a new video. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for all the love and all the support. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, coming in. Yeah. I just wanna win, yeah LA 